All right, take two of recording this video. We are going to be playing The Devil and Me today, hopefully without any further issue, but we'll see after this intro. All right, we're back. I don't know what happened. My recording software had a bit of an issue uh, and just stopped in after the intro and then the file was corrupt and I don't know what the hell was going on. Uh, it seems to be maybe I don't maybe I didn't have enough disk space. By the way, uh, check out this new microphone. I was going to say uh, I'm just going to repeat everything I said in the first intro. Uh, I bought a streaming kit from GameStop. They had a uh, eight tricks was the brand um, streaming kit streaming bundle come with a windscreen. Uh, shock mount which I didn't really like that shock mount, but it was fine I mean, I'm sure it would work just fine. Um, and then mostly what I've been looking for forever for a Desk arm which now puts the microphone right here instead of uh, on the stand that was on the side there that I had to constantly move in front of me um, Honestly, it was a $20 kit marked down to 16 something on clearance and since they're doing 50% off not sponsored though uh, since they're doing 50% off I actually um got it for like seven bucks and then on top of that i had my five dollars for my pro membership again not sponsored um so it only cost me like two bucks because it went straight to the application of that to be fair um it's been a pretty good it's it's a pretty good arm so far i i was a little leery just because cheaper arms you know you have a problem with weight my uh akg p220 is a little heavy especially with its shock mount that it came with which is what i have on it now um, the only thing I had to do was order a set of adapters from Amazon for like 10 bucks. Not sponsored by Bezos either. Um, but I ordered a set of adapters because it didn't come with one to actually run my 5.8 uh, shock mount on it. And it works just fine. If you have any light microphone, snow, snow, what are they called? Blues and all those. If you have any of those, you'd probably do just fine with this uh, streaming arm for your desk. Um, if you have something a little heavier like I do, it's actually holding up pretty well. It didn't have any droop. I let it sit for about two hours with everything. My newer, uh, heavier shock mount installed in my microphone and it didn't droop once. So I'm sure over time it may uh, go out on me or just not last as long. But for now, I am satisfied just to have this one. So a uh, pretty good investment, I'd say, at two bucks. I'm also wearing my dope saw shirt that I just got yesterday. Well, I got yesterday, picked up today from graveyard goods uh one of the horror shirt companies i buy from um on instagram uh they do some really dope shirts and this is the uh inked in blood variant i think it's actually glow ink um i didn't try it out but i think it is uh because of course i love saw <laughs> and since i love saw of course we're going to be doing horror games again right now today is the 20th so we are two days after the release of the devil and me from dark pictures it's the season ender um so I'm hoping there's going to be a second season. I mean, they say it's the end of season one, but you never know if they'll be back. Like all like all good and bad TV shows, you just never know. Um, I hope it is. We will see. Uh, but this game uh, just came out, like I said, two days ago. Um, yesterday I was a little, little, not under the weather. My nose was running. I'm, I'm thinking it's the weather itself, changing weather here in Arizona. It's getting a little colder, of course. Um, so I'm hoping it was something just in the air. So hopefully I don't sound too rough today. Um, but I was playing my Pokemon Scarlet and Violet which I started with Scarlet, if you're wondering. And uh, I'm kind of enjoying it so far. I just got through the, the intro stages, um, but I am enjoying it so far. So I'm looking forward to playing more of that offline. Uh, but for you guys today, we're going to be doing The Devil in Me, which is, I mean, I, I just, like I said, the, my, my summary doesn't really say what the game's about. But you can tell maybe by the picture. Um, it's going to be H, H. Holmes kind of inspired, uh, famous serial killer, and... Um, and in a hotel, I'm guessing, because that's what H.H. Holmes did. He set up a hotel uh, where he did all of his killing. So uh, hopefully we're going to get into that. I haven't looked into it as much as maybe some of the other ones. I did just finish, uh, as you guys have already seen posted on here, A Little, a little Hope. And uh, soon, House of Ashes, if I can get the fourth video to render, for some reason, DaVinci Resolve just keeps hitting a chunk or one, of one frame rate or one frame that's not rendering. So I'm going to have to solve that problem. But... That means you guys will have those two games coming because I've already done those and I was really excited. I talked about it in those videos. I'm really excited for The Devil and Me um, just because it, it it does hit some good spots, I hope. So we'll see. But I do want to say um, historically these games, sometimes a little weird when they're right off a of release. I already had an update when I, lo I literally just loaded it in today. Um, 
I had an update right when I put it in, so hopefully that might have squashed any bugs it may have. Uh, I haven't looked into that either, if there's any bugs on release. I know that as gamers, we kind of start to expect that these days, unfortunately, but I have not seen uh, any bugs. But from my experiences, uh, sometimes the faces move a hair weird. Um, there may be a little bit of bugs. I haven't seen too many in my whole playthroughs. I mean, Little Hope and House of Ashes, of course, well over a year old now. So I think they had everything squashed by the time I got to them. But this one, two days. It's only been out for two days. Uh, so we will just see what we're in for and hopefully it's the best. So I'm going to stop rambling. We're going to pick up my controller and I'm going to get it going on the old Xbox there. Look at that screen. See, it is. Look, Hotel, World's Fair. So it'd be 19... 30s if i'm not mistaken the dirty dirty 30s and uh i love the i love the look already <clears throat> they've, they've sold me more shockingly uh is i believe um my audio wasn't claimed from the old the old death beginning when I posted Little Hope. So hopefully we can enjoy that lovely number uh, yet again and not have it be copyright claimed. But if it does, then hopefully YouTube will do its magic and pull that sucker out for me. Super massive. By the way, I, I think I kind of missed it in my... All right. Yes, let's do it. I would say I kind of missed it in my quickness to um, record, re-record the intro, but this did come out. Uh, currently, I'm playing this on Xbox One because I don't have a Series X yet. Um, but it did come out for Series X, I believe, PS4 and PS5. Uh, so it is on newest gen consoles, but of course, I will be using my um, older gen console. Skip to the end. That's the way you do license agreements. Would you like to come like plain device information for out? Sure, whatever. I don't care. All right. So as usual, let's set your guys' brightness up for success here. Um, what does it say? Just slide to the left is invisible. The middle image is barely visible. So, uh, he's even at a hundred. What it looks like on screen for you guys is like you can't even see that left image. Um, but I don't want to make it too dark. I think uh, House of Ashes. I got lucky because it's a lot of sunlight and I think for for um, little hope it's probably gonna be a lot of darkness in those clips at least the way I'm looking at it on screen right now so we're just gonna go ahead and bump it to right uh, right about there all right now I do have the uh, curators cut because I pre-ordered it because of course I was gonna pre-order this game uh, but we are just gonna do our first playthrough and go from there I am ecstatic Continue so as you can see can't do that because I haven't played this game <laughs> Now uh, Just gonna cut real quick what I have. Oh, where's my sweet face light? Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, so The last two games um, I don't remember how I played Man of Medan and I definitely don't remember how I set up until dawn I may have put in the easiest mode for little hope and house of ash uh, I chose the middle I think which made it a lot kind of tougher, but it did make it more fun So of course as we play through this I'm going to I'll probably play the same style um, But we're gonna try to see if we can um, Hopefully not have a hard time getting used to this mic. It sounds really loud, but I did tune up my auditory of it um, But I just wanted to preface it with that um, the quarry uh, I'm not sure how I set the the pacing on that one either. I do plan to do some videos on the quarry I just didn't have time to do it before this one released uh, So you will see a future video of the quarry as well if you want it or were wondering and if you don't want it I'm probably just gonna do it anyways So let's cut back to the main frame uh, So that way you guys can enjoy not looking at my face um, I think challenging is what I chose um I believe forgiving might be how I did Man of Medan, so I may have to go back and check that out. Uh, but we'll go with challenging again. Why not? New slot. Let's go. Let's get it done. 
By the way, I also picked up a sweet ma uh, mouse from GameStop because it's still not sponsored still. Um, 50% on clearance. They have Basculus V2s on sale because they were on clearance and they're 50% off. Kidding me? Done deal. And I'm liking it. Okay. For they have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind. We'll see ya. As usual, every choice has a consequence. Some decisions save lives. Others. In them, lead to The wheel what? is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for a hundred miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. Oh, got him. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. Mm. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> Those were the days. I think we've arrived. Wow. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. Noise. Let's check in. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Come on Try in, again. the weather's dreadful. Oh no, wait, that's it's nine k. Yeah, you can't get it wrong with that one. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. And yay, on that day, uh, Yelp was Let's created. not wait till tomorrow morning. Oh. Let's sign in and go straight there. We're not going anywhere if no one checks us in. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. If you say That's so. That's why Marie, always finding that silver lining. My sincere oh. apologies. Meanwhile, for both startling you and for making you wait, my attention was needed elsewhere. Creepy. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please. Sign in here. First time in Chicago, I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Just got married. Oh, the honeymoon. How very, very lovely. Two for one. Oop, see there's a little glitch there. Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. Oh, come on. It don't matter. Just so the cops know who's yes. there. Today's the beginning Ratchiga? of our honeymoon. Congratulations. World's in Fair that case, Hotel. an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, what a guy. Oh, well, uh... We can't afford that. The rate's that much higher? <laughs> I knew it. I think nothing of it. <clears throat> Same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. All Thank right. you, Mr. Holmes. Uh -oh. 
Henry Howard Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Mm. Impressive. Please have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Oh man, that's a system they don't use anymore. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. You're the we pick. appreciate it. You're the bee's knees. The pleasure is all mine. The story of H.H. H. Holmes, if you haven't looked into it, is actually pretty crazy, like, what that dude got away with. Up until this point. Obviously, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this hotel was his downfall as well, but, um, I think I might be wrong as well, so feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but, um. Now, what did I forget to bring? Face powder. Um. Oh, I have it up. Really? Is that what I'm choosing? All right, I guess that's what I'm stuck with. Oh, pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. Fresh. Sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. It's only just begun. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? You just got a ring, didn't what you? Would you like to know? Those all look kind of cheap. Yeah, the real story of the dude, man. If I, if I do remember correctly, he traveled like all across the country. He changed his name a lot. He kind of just did whatever because back in the day, there was no proper identification and things like that. And uh, wonder I, what's in here. I think that's how he got so many of those titles and abilities. Is I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Well, I came up with the idea for this Are hotel. Looking for excitement, perhaps. <sighs> we just straight went in there. Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill. If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel, I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? Norman Bates' mom. <gasps> I mean, how rude, though. Oh, hell. Button may change to Y. Oh, shit. Alright. Well, I'll be... I'll be tickled. How did this door get open? Oh, crap. They gave me the easy one. I learned from the last game, these are not always easy. <laughs> that was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Why'd he leave the door open though? Let's go. Like he must be just assuming it blew open or they looked in, but I would shut the door on my way out. Now he's gonna know they shut the door. in my study, weren't you? Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. Nothing, I'm sure nothing we'll guilty about that. Again soon. The damn curator's always telling me. <laughs> Goodness, this place is fit for a king. 
for my queen. Oh, you. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. Hey, oh, I thought I was going to have a quick time to duck. I got ready. For it. All right. <laughs> Boom. That sucker. <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. Ah. <laughs> yeah, mercy, mercy. playful now. Okay, you win. Anything broken? Only my pride. How about a peace offering? Hmm. Oh, this feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Lies. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Oh, no. Did he do that oh, without her even Jeff, noticing? Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. Got the most assassinist hands ever. Alright. It's a creeper. Creeper cam. All the doors are locked. It's like I shouldn't be going in there. Here I am. I'm gonna go in there. The weirdest sound ever. It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? Open sesame! <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. Where is he gonna shave at? If she's in the bathroom. Oh, I'm Jeff. In the, the wad for... Settle into the hotel. Find a shaving. Alright, well, let's do that. As usual, we're going to look for anything flashy and grandiose, but mostly the shaving kit. Oh, I can go back in there? Better not. Oh, I cannot go back in there. Jeff has a conscience. This was the way we came up. It's the joy of the Holmes Hotel. I guess we'll go this way. Yeah, I could have swore this is the way we came up too, to be fair. What? <laughs> ah, almost messed that up. Jeez. What? No way. Well, what good is the face powder gonna do? Oh, you're if you're like me, you're already thinking something bad. Yep. I don't know why she looked at it, but it's either poison or acid. It'd be pretty wicked if it was like um, a chemical lime or something.
Please don't make me have to censor this for YouTube. Please don't make me have to edit. Is that you, darling? Jeff? No. Oh, are we playing another game? Give it a play. I'm gonna relax, cause she's gonna assume, cause that's a good horror movie cliche. She's probably gonna die. Back already? You know, this tub is awfully big. I think there might be room for another body. Oh. Mm, that's nice. Ow. You don't know your own strength. Easy, dear. Jeff, that hurts. Hello, my dear. <laughs> Quiet now. We don't want to disturb the other guests. <laughs> I really thought we'd have a little more fighting in here. <laughs> here we are. Nice and quiet. I mean, I don't think there was a way for her to live. I investigated but if not then we'll just what are you doing if you've touched Maria you're a bit late with that sentiment good sir man Holmes didn't even let him get settled in for the night Bruce is there a out. problem sir <laughs> Definitely the end for this guy. You know what's funny is with as much as they're showing her, it's making me wonder if she could have lived and then if she would have busted him out of there. We'll find out on a second playthrough. This round, straight like a horror movie. Simply die. It's so I say, popular. good man, do you work here? Ah, uh, yes, I do. Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. That might be my screenshot. Oh, All right. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh, <laughs> song just kicks for me. I don't know about you guys, but it kicks for me. Home, won't you spare, won't you spare yeah. me over till another year? I bust in the cure for the night.
guess I probably shouldn't sing along because if I have to pull the song out, it's just gonna be me off key singing Oh Death here. And nobody paid to see that. That's alright, you guys can just fast forward. song is great, the intro is great, it's just like a TV show, or a series, I love it, oh he looks stressed, what'd we, what'd we do to you curator, I'm sorry, oh, oh he's happy again, you're here, oh, that's good. have you been waiting long, mm -hmm. welcome to my repository, a vast collection of stories that are dark, frightening, horrific, I, and the curator. I am here to enjoy. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, would affect this story. Hidden in the work, you'll find dark pictures. They give oh, glimpses of the, the other possible title. consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Yeah, but you give tips. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find. Interesting. And I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. The obble. So that reminds me of uh, the tarot cards from the quarry, which I was horrible at collecting. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a For master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on... And... Uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. But yeah, it's a it's a job. I've been a key grip in lighting tech for years. Be a problem. Light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track, it was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and um, didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. 
Now I'm actually wondering, I don't I think HH almost died. To be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Oh, here we go. Enough. That might explain it. <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was the born with the devil in me. Oh, he said the title roll credit. That's the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust in me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders. Nope. But as investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried, as requested, under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? Is he actually in the frame? That's cool. To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that door. Oh, hate when that happens. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. Uh-oh. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Everybody Without them, this conversation the is dead weekend. in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right. Let's load up, guys. I got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. In case you're behind I it. Know, you're right. This is gonna be grand, people. Adventure. You guys taking the restrictions a little too far. Anyone? Road trip! Huzzah! Woohoo! Hooray! This is gonna be great, guys. And that's why they say you always gotta love your job, because you just never know. If they all love their job, it wouldn't Do be like they're working going exactly? You don't have surprises. <clears throat> you know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka. Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault, because you fly by the seat of your ass. Because you forgot so, the charger. Come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich. He's a recluse. He's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. 
And you substantiated all of this. Just trust. That was a really loud Xbox tone for a reason that didn't show up on screen. Sorry for all the mystery. Thankfully, Before but not. Before we go not. any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Is may share information that can affect know about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. Mm. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. For the show. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if the phone dies now. This is gonna be great. You said that into Peter. All right, they're in Resident Evil 7. Due to sewerage, shouldn't he have service or something? Is this guy gonna help? Not if he doesn't want people to know what he's doing. No, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it. Jackass. They didn't even get all their stuff out and he's closing the trunk. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. From on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great, and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mm. Mark, this is crazy. But we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. All right. <clears throat> now we're looking out for the schmeckles. Approach the wall near the collapsed steps and press A to climb. Well, I didn't even look for anything else. <coughs> I thought maybe it was a hidden schmeckle. Or Krugeran or... Deutschmark. You know, the ferryman's coin. Hey, guys, hurry up. We're on it. All right, all right. I'm going to jog through life here. <laughs> Jesus, that is loud. Uh, it's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. Play for erosion. Use the subject to erosion. Shot, right? And make collapses. Doesn't look too serious. The warning about everything falling into the ocean. I'm going to say we trust it and not die. Nah, this sign is something the lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. Hard disagree. This looks just like every other platformer, bro. You can handle this. Listen, Mark, I just wanted to say, um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging. To work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you had I like how randomly... I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah, if you want to get paid. Yeah. I guess we do. The goal? Okay, Go I won't to lie. I was hoping being here, all remote and away from the world, that maybe I'd have some downtime some space to decompress. Downtime? Why hmm. would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen the attraction. Must have been quite a storm. Did I accidentally go the right way? I was just trying to look around. Yeah, I guess I did. I 
I believe they added more kind of platformy elements and stuff like that as well into this game, or a little bit more action. So I'm okay with that. As long as it translates well. I know House of Ashes had a good bit of action. When we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off, go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours, you know. I got a lot going on at the moment, Charles. Oh, right, yeah, of course, sure. Not anymore. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post, don't worry. You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well. No, Mrs. Bonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job? <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Not well, great. Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> Married to the job. What sucks, I feel like that's gonna be something that could kill me later. That mechanic. See if that proves true. So I guess A does everything. X seems to be for inspect, but A is generally a lot of action moves. Christ, what the hell is that? A mannequin, you know, just hanging out. Maybe it's part of some old museum display or something. Right, that's probably it. It was the most non jumpiest jump scare. That's what that was. And I haven't seen anything laying on the ground. One foot in front of the other. All right. Who needs the lighthouse? We can just get it from here. You coming? Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mist. How is that gonna fit into the show? Just caught my eye. Coming. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. Uh, did There's I see? There's a lot of crossover between oh. the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? But this crossover with Kate hasn't exactly. We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. Lock tight. Come on, there must be another way. You sure? No. I'm optimistic. Ah, something on the ground, finally. It's like part of the mailbox. And shabam. Fish factory to close. Oh, man. Exciting times. From May 8th? May 8th, 1961. Three days before my birthday and several years previous to that. I mean, it's very intuitive to press A to just go under it, you know, for everything. Like, you just walk up to it, you know, you're going to press an A. So, I mean, that part's working out pretty well. There's something like glow in there. Oh, that was the way the light was hitting off the rock. All right. Righto, let's get in here. <laughs> yeah, you're not jump scaring me, bird. This looks pretty old. If the bank wants me. 
to equip an item. What is that he even has? His tie clip. Okay, interesting. Oh, Schmeckle. What's that? To sell all cobbles. There you go. Find a penny. Get up. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. That's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. Good thing they drew wheels on it, so that way someone like me didn't go, wow, he moves that pretty easy. Just a little breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? <laughs> Excellent question. Next topic. Christ, what the hell is that? Torture hiding place and hold, uh. I need to hold it. I didn't read that. Nice to meet you too. Potential future. And not a very good one. Now every time someone gets in a boat, I'm going to have to worry about it. Oh. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitizer. Dude, I thought you said you were in tip-top shape. You're up here breathing heavy. Alright, someone's into weird taxidermy. Charlie, I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Somebody has a... T what in God's name is this? <laughs> Some hobby. Ah! Yay! Yay! It moved. What? The thing. It moved shouldn't because you can see right in it <laughs> nothing could ever go wrong it's gonna be okay it's all gonna be okay I mean, it seems pretty solid, so at least there's at that. This. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. There better be another lighthouse. There is another lighthouse. I was gonna say, we're standing on the lighthouse. Look, guy. it's all right. Come on, we better get back. See, that's filmmakers, all that work for just one shot. Is that him? I don't know. We just had the one call. H how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. 
the guy That's from great. Anime Day. I'm Grantham Gamet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Glad to see his return. Aaron, Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Why'd she say appreciate like that? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that turned up? Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Yeah, don't sure. ask questions. Of course. Pretty cool little barge. Well, I say little. Clearly, you could probably almost fit a semi on there. Not the most fuel efficient way to travel. It's the guy from I Know What You Did Last Summer. They know what he's doing, what they're doing this summer. It'd be great if some surly pirate let's just walked up. Let's get up to the hotel. Please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt, so please. <laughs> Take care. So yeah, be confident. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. I'm not exactly dressed for a hike, Mr. Dumet. It's just a short walk. It won't take long. You're right. That's going to be my new line. Very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. You don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lona Entertainment's motto. Yeah, we don't want you in you our shot anymore. You want the usual anyways. intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a take then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And. Action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from Hate Hate Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? Dude, for somebody who didn't want to be in the shot, this he walked way. right in it. You'll steal some more shots, right? Obviously. Obviously, yeah, because that guy walked right in there and killed it. No, oh, he's not the killer, he's a butler. I mean, that's fair. Mr. Dumet is being really restrictive. Oh, oh shit. shit. I want you to go look around without him knowing. Hmm. Mm. Matt is entitled to his privacy. He's cagey. Privacy. I want to know what he's trying to hide. Trying well, to hide all his money. To do. The weird what market, did that man. that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Ah! Oh, oh! Oh my! Damn it! What really? happened? You okay? Oh. Did you get your baby ego again? He's a poor actor. We should get her up to the hotel. Oh my! And that was a good line. Move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. Do you have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. 
What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. I'll tell you all about Glendale. Are you taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because I'm charming and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. And now, much to my surprise, Ooh, yeah. I guess we will cut it right there. You have only made choices with your heart where possible. You have only made choices with your heart where possible. Okay. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But we're going to cut this first video there because it's been an hour. That's a great start. We will come right back. Um, well, it won't be right back. It'll be a couple days apart. But we'll come back for more of... Uh, the devil and me i hope you guys enjoyed and i'm really looking forward to it i like the way we're starting it so far and uh we'll see where we end up so until then bye for now thanks for watching mm -hmm. subtle look into the camera delightful <laughs>